So it's another day in Lagos. Work has ended and everyone is rushing home. You know how um, rush hour traffic can be. And you're just in the bus counting down to when you finally get home and finally get to rest. And then you see two drivers in a road rage. He, he shouts to the other one, if you get liver, may you enter my front. Doesn't it make you wonder if the liver has something to do with bravery? Well, I know the liver has nothing to do with bravery. So in this video, I'll be talking about how to take care of your liver and the things that affect your liver. My name is Dr. Okonkwo Oyo and I work with Dr. Connect. Remember, this video does not replace consultation with a doctor and is only meant for educational purposes. Remember to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to get notifications on new videos from us. So first, let's start with what the liver looks like. The liver is the largest solid organ in the body and it's roughly the size of a football. It's about the shape of a crescent and it's located in the right side of your abdomen and a bit in the middle as well. Now, what does the liver do? The liver has a lot of functions and frankly, the average person cannot live without the liver. <laughs> yes, I like rhyming too. Some of the functions of the liver include regulation, processing, storage, and the liver is a fighter as well. The liver is a man of war. So let's go and take it one by one. For regulation, the liver regulates blood clotting. The liver also helps you to store excess glucose as glycogen. And when you are in need of that glucose, it breaks it down back to glucose from glycogen. The liver also helps you in processing the food you eat filtering your blood, processing drugs, processing alcohol as well. So the liver, any alcohol you take, the liver is responsible for processing it. Lastly, the liver helps you in fighting pathogens and bacteria that invade your body. So it's very important in your immune system. These are some of the functions of the EM liver. Now, how can you take care of your liver? First, to take care of something, you need to know what can damage it. Here are some of the things that can damage your liver. Excessive intake of alcohol, Abuse of drugs through self-medication. One of the major culprits when it comes to the liver is paracetamol. Yes, everyone takes paracetamol. In fact, we pop it at every single time. Any small headache, paracetamol, when you just need sleep sometimes. But paracetamol has been found to be harmful to the liver when taken excessively. Lastly, unsafe sexual practices can also damage your liver. Um, hepatitis is an infection that affects the liver commonly and it can be passed through um, unsafe sexual practices. It can also be passed through um, poor hygiene as well. So now that we've spoken about some of the things that can damage your liver, let's talk about signs and symptoms of liver disease. Signs and symptoms of liver disease are many, but I'll just go through some of the most important ones. You remember how I said that liver is an organ that is found in your abdomen? So one of the signs and symptoms of a damaged liver or a liver that has some issues is bloating or swelling in your abdomen. Normally, the liver is not an organ that you can feel. It's located under your right rib cage here. So you can't feel your liver normally. The moment you begin to, you are able to feel your liver underneath your ribcage, then chances are high that there's a problem. Apart from abdominal bloating, another sign and symptom of liver disease is jaundice. Jaundice is what we call yellow discoloration of some parts of the body. It's commonly found in the eye, the sclera of the eye, and also on the skin. But because we are black people, see, with my skin, it's hard to see any yellow discoloration, but the common place we look for jaundice in black people is the eye. So when we look at the eyes, you may have noticed some people have really yellow eyes, they are jaundiced, and it's also a sign of liver disease. Another sign of liver disease is also itching. Yeah, so we call it in medical terms, pruritus. So if you have someone that keeps itching, and some of them may even have marks, we call excoriation marks from all the itching that happens with liver disease. So these are some of the common signs and symptoms of the liver disease. Others include general fatigue and unwellness. You may also have issues with blood clotting as well. But let's move on from signs and symptoms of liver disease and focus on the meat of this video, which is how you can take better care of your liver. Now, to take better care of your liver, basically, they say health is wealth. And trust me, you do not want to come down with liver disease. Not only is it expensive to treat, I've also mentioned that you cannot live without your liver. And it's important to know that a liver transplant is really expensive and not readily available. So how to take care of your liver? Number one, ensure that you eat healthy, balanced meals and also maintain a healthy and physically active lifestyle which means that you need to exercise. I know you will say that the trekking you do to your bus stop every day is exercise. Please, it is not. Eh? So, make out time every day to work out. Say 30 minutes a day, five times a week. That's great. Another thing you can do for your liver is ensure that you practice safe sex, which involves making use of protective 
um, contraceptives like condoms when you want to have sex. And also, it's good to have something we call the pre-sex screening, which means carry your partner to a lab and two of you should run some tests. One of those tests will include screening for hepatitis to know if your partner has hepatitis or not before engaging in any sexual act with them. Something else you can do to help yourself in terms of taking care of your liver is also ensuring that you stop self-medication. I mentioned Pastamol as a chief culprit of liver disease because it can adversely affect the liver. Something else you need to do is to ensure that you stay hydrated. Drink enough water. When I say water, I mean water, like water, not soda drinks or juice. Water is still the safest and the best drink for you. So finally, you know those of us that you use one bottle of beer to open your eye in the morning, then another one to launch your lunch and want to step down after work. You have to watch it because excessive alcohol intake is also a huge culprit when it comes to liver disease. If you want to take care of your liver, cut down on your alcohol intake because it can damage your liver. The final thing I'll leave you with is if you have any issues, if you have any symptoms, you feel tired all the time, you're having bloating, you are, your body itches, you have yellowness of your eyes, you can take a step by booking an appointment with your doctor on our Doctor Connect app. To download the app, visit um, the Google Play Store or the App Store on Apple and download, search for Doctor Connect. Download our app and you have access to 30 days free access to a doctor to talk to a doctor from the comfort of your home. Remember, this video does not replace consultation with a doctor and is only meant for educational purposes. So if you have any comments, questions, or you want to argue with me about what I've said concerning the liver, feel free to drop a comment in the comment section. And remember to also hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to get notifications on new videos from us. Thank you.